a lot of farmers are recognising that the soil is not quite performing like it used to and they're wanting to get back to what it, what it used to be able to do for them. When I first came here we were growing around that uh, five or six tonne dry matter per hectare. The activity in our soil was two or three worms per shovel full when you dug up at the best time of the year, where now it's like 30 or 40 worms, enabling us to grow 20 tonne dry matter with very reduced inputs. We've gone down the path of doing the baseline testing, running through the Mission Reductions Fund whole program and, and getting those first carbon credits. We've got a, a 100 hectares here un under the project and we've got a, 110 cows and calves plot grazing around the farm. So it's reducing all the input costs and we're getting extra yield and we're improving the soil at the same time. And on top of all that, we're getting carbon credits as well. AgriProve is a special purpose project developer focused solely on unlocking the potential for soil carbon to deliver large amounts of uh, greenhouse gas reductions. AgriProof partner with the Olsen's farm and this is a particularly unique farm. It was the first farm to be issued Australian carbon credits for a measured increase in soil organic carbon. I've been coming to this farm the past four years and doing the soil sampling and I've had the opportunity to work alongside Neil's when we're in the paddock and sampling their soils allows them to examine the soils on their farm, particularly to a metre depth. So the conversations that that generates leads to situation improvement. We're not just storing it in, in the surface. Plant roots now are going down a metre into the soil profile. So that carbon on those root systems is stored down there virtually forever. It's a big improvement. Now we've got a 25 year program running with the Clean Energy Regulator. So we'll see what we can achieve in that 25 years. This program is really changing how you look at your farming system. It's not just what's on the surface, it's what's underneath as well.